Hey everybody, welcome back to our show this week. I'll tell you what, like I always say, I'll tell you what, today is going to be an absolutely fun day. We've got a lot of things planned for you guys. What we're going to do is we're going to head up to one of the biggest bodies of water in the state here. And we're going to try to target giant walleyes. And what we're going to be doing, this show is really going to be more about not where we're at, but it's going to be all about how to catch fish on big bodies of water. You know what, electronics play such a big factor into everything. I've got my live scope in the boat today with me. I've got my, of course, my pan optics in the back here, and I've got my side imaging. So when you kind of look at all three of them units, it really helps you to kind of dissect these big bodies of water. And no doubt, this lake we're going to today is full of so much structure and that's where these fish are going to be camped out. You know, a lot of things have changed in the last couple of weeks. We've had an extreme amount of heat. The water temperature is jacked way up. So these fish, I don't think are going to be sitting shallow anymore. I think they're going to be sitting on the sharper breaks. But you know what? The electronics are going to tell the whole story. Hey, we got some good friends from Power Sports coming along today to fish with us. I just think it's going to be one of them days. So hang on to your heinies. Hey, I'll tell you what, I'm going to start you guys off on crawlers. I'm gonna go one guy in a crawler, one on a minnow. Typically on Winnebago, I use a half a crawler, but here a, a full crawler sometimes is huge. Okay, and I'm gonna go with a creek chub on yours. Whoa, that one must be the one that wants to go on there. Tell you what, I finally hooked up with a walleye here. Not the biggest walleye, but hey, I do have the, the first and only walleye. That's insane. This is the right one, I think. Yep. Yeah, that's insane. Quite fast. Crappie. Oh, nice crappie. That's a big crappie. Take that one. Hey, we'll keep. Let's see you do that again. Hold that crappie up. Whoa. Nice crappie. Yeah. Gotta love that one. Nice fish. <laughs> yeah, you, you, yeah, you never know, know what you're gonna, gonna get. catch. That is the cool part about flowages. There we go. Yeah, a little better, huh? Oh, great. Oh, well, white bass. He was hungry. He was hungry. That looks like a better one, huh? Mm, feels decent. Looks like a walleye too, because it's not jumping. Yep, nice job. Just kind of pitching back and kind of dragging it real slow, huh? That's it, you know. Just tossing it back and doing my thing. The nice part about this body of water too is that there's a 15 to 20 inch size limit. That is a good fish. Oh, it's a nice walleye. Yeah, nice job. Hunter. Again, just kind of pitching back. You know, it's cool to be able to see these fish on the live scope too, everybody. I mean, so we know that these fish are down here and look, you see how thick they are in here. So we, you know, we've covered quite a few spots already that we haven't seen a lot of fish. So it's nice though to use the electronics and see that you have fish that are actually active. And you can see how like right now I'm jigging through the trees and how some of these fish are coming right out of the trees. This one's all over it. See them right now? See that fish right there, right next to that tree. So I'm running a 3 8 ounce round jig head. I have not got it snagged and lost it yet, so I'm going to keep her on there until I lose it. Running about six pound test on a mags medium light rod, and that's adv the advantage of that. Is I can uh, feel that the fish hold on to it, and you know we got about a half a. I got about a half piece crawler. He's got a full piece of crawler, and you got to let the fish hang on it for a while. Definitely let them hang. And having the light tip and the light line, they do not feel you, so they don't spit it. That's the key. Put that damn fish on. Oh, a little walleye. I'm on the board. Slow death. Nice job. Nice job. I'll tell you what, I just missed a nice one too. Here, it's really cool to be able to see, see these fish come up on that live scope. And he's about 15 and a half, almost 16. Perfect. I always like to make sure they're over the line when it comes to the 15 mark and make sure you guys that it's not on the line when it comes to 20 because that would be illegal. What was that on? Uh, crawler. Okay, nice job. When yeah. you're pulling rigs, you need snacks. And what, what better than Philly cheese, Leroy's. Don't worry about my uh, catfish jelly on my hands. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> it's flavor. Larry. Huh? I'm not going to pass up on that. Thank you, sir. Andrew? Nice 
snack time. I don't know. Big cat, hey, hey. You take that any day of the week. Big cat. Nice job. Come on. Oh, oh nice perch. Perch, we'll take it. Fling them up, fling them up. Nice. Hold that one up. Hey, let's talk a little bit. What's going on out at Power Sports? You guys are, uh, and how'd you get a day off to go fishing? Huh? <laughs> well, every once in a while, you just got to do it. Right. Um, busy. Um, it's been busy. He's looking at buying a ATV, UTV. Typically, how long is it going to take him to get that piece of equipment right now? Because literally, there's nothing in stock. Nothing. Nobody's nothing. got anything on the showroom floor. No, we haven't had anything in stock in the showroom floor for, I bet you, a couple months. With that being said, you know, anybody that's thinking about doing it, my my recommendations are definitely think ahead and, and you know, and if you're thinking of something, now is the time to to get the ball rolling. Still there? Yep. Pull back on him a little bit and give him the beans. Yep, that'll be a good one. Oh, there you go. Walleye. Not the one we're looking for, but it's a walleye. It's amazing how many stubborn ones. They definitely don't want a lot of movement today. Might as well. I don't see anything back yep. there. It must yep, be setter, under. Setter. There you go. We got them. Well, a lot of, lot of small fish all of a sudden. That's one thing about fishing these flowages, that numbers. There is a lot of numbers of walleyes. Hey, hey, all right. Nice hook set. What do you got going there? No, you were just pitching across that. Yep. Ooh, that's a good fish right there for sure. That one will definitely make it for the box right there. I'll give so. you the bump board, but what are you doing up there? Uh, I got a half a crawler on, three eighths ounce jig, pink, just uh, pitching it out. You stayed uh, pretty heavy. You know, I was surprised. But when you're looking at that kind of a drop, it's nice to be able to have that control with that bigger jig. Oh, he's just under 15. He ain't gonna make it. Just a hair. No, nope, not quite. Nice fish though. Finally, something nicer. We've been catching 12 inches for the last hour, but. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Yeah, send her back. So I tell you what, you know what? Some days you go on these trips and you have very high expectations. Like my prediction for today before we got on the water was anywhere from 30 to 50 walleyes. We had some good fishermen in the boat for sure. Conditions were almost perfect. But we're lucky if we put 20 walleyes in a boat. I think we've got two legals in here. Caught one over uh, 20, and uh, rest of them are small ones. A few catfish, a few white bass, a bunch of sheephead. But you know, it's all about really getting out and uh, you know spending time with people and enjoying the outdoors and enjoying the time that you're here. So hope everybody enjoyed this. And hey, remember, no matter what and how many fish you catch or don't catch. It's no doubt a great day to be live. Just so you know, all the proceeds for this YouTube channel go directly to Little Stinker's College Fund. You need to subscribe to our YouTube channel down below.